Hi, my name is David Self. Um, I teach in USD 259 at Heights High School. The purpose of this video is to provide instruction on programming the SCUT 1027 and 1227 electric kilns for bisque firing and for glaze firing. Once the kiln is loaded, we've turned it on and we're ready to go. The programming starts when you first turn on your kiln. These kilns are programmed that they will automatically recall your last firing. Currently, it's flashing idle, and it's also showing 66, which is the degrees inside the kiln. I can clear this display by pressing stop. Once I've hit stop, now I'm ready to go into my cone fire mode. For bisque firing, which is our first firing we'll do, that's the firing we're going to do for our clay that is completely dry. We're going to press cone fire. And we always want to preheat this kiln. You'll notice that it flashes between what we call preheat and all zeros. There's a decimal there for hours and minutes. For a bisque firing, we're going to preheat for 12 hours. So we want to enter the 12 and 00, zero for the minutes and then hit enter. It's now asking us what cone we want to go to. For bisque firing, we're going to cone 04, which is 1000. 945 degrees. Notice that it's already flashing 04. Like I said, it remembers what I did last time. But for the sake of the video, we'll go ahead and enter the 04 again and hit enter. For a bisque firing, we also want to have a slow speed. We never want to fire too fast. So it's already flashing slow, but we'll go ahead and enter it one more time right down here and enter. We don't need to hold at any temperature. You can program a kiln to hold at a certain temperature if you need it to, but for the sake of what we're doing, we really don't need to, so we just hit enter. At this point, the kiln's ready to start. I hit start, and the kiln starts firing. Okay. And then after we're done with our bisque firing and the kiln has cooled off, we're ready to do a glaze firing. A glaze firing, we fire a little bit lower, 1,830 degrees or cone 06, but the process is kind of the same. So I start off by hitting the stop button to clear. I'm going to go to cone fire. For a glaze firing, I really don't have to do any preheating. I can just go right into my firing process. So I'm going to leave the preheat at zeros and hit enter. Okay, we are changing our cone number, so this time we're going to glaze fire to cone 06. Enter. And I can get away with going with a medium speed on this. I don't have to necessarily stick with the slow speed. Again, we're not going to hold at any temperatures. If you're doing some specialty glaze work, you would want to enter in the amount of time you want to hold at a certain temperature for certain glazes to, to work. Those are usually in the instructions on your glaze bottle, but for the most part, we're going to leave it at zero, for most glazes anyway. At that point, I'm ready to start, and my kiln will fire. The nice thing about these scut kilns is they're programmed to turn off on their own once they've hit the targeted temperature. They really make it pretty easy. Please refer to this video if you ever have any problems remembering the process or recalling the process of programming your electric kiln. Good luck, and thank you.